You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 10. I approve the mayor to spend up to $100,000, uh, for, mostly for debris removal. There will be some other things. And that motion was approved to help Gibson City recover after Thursday's devastating rain and historic flooding. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm McLeod Hegeman. And I'm Jessica Coons. Gibson City leaders announced they'll use $100,000 of its emergency money to help repair the community. That announcement happened at an emergency meeting tonight. Mayor Dan Dickey says the money will mostly be used for debris removal. City leaders also declared a 30-day extension of an emergency declaration. Several groups were at tonight's meeting, including the emergency management assist assistance team. They're advising, advising Gibson City on this crisis. Team Rubicon, a group of veterans helping out, was also there, and so was the Red Cross. And the city started clearing out debris today. Dump trucks and other construction equipment were actually out picking up furniture, ripped up carpets, and other damaged items from homes and businesses. Most people with basements or on the first floor lost a lot. Some people really lost everything. Carl Schieber says that he actually lost important and sentimental items like military documents, birth certificates, and even his kids' toys. He says they couldn't get into their basement for a few days because it was still flooded. It's still a little surreal. I haven't quite fully processed it yet, uh, but we're... Uh, there's definitely moments of remembering what was down there, what is now gone, uh, what can't be replaced, and it's definitely, um, you know, very upsetting. Governor Pritzker has requested a federal review of damage assessments in that county. That's an effort to get some federal money in for assistance. And while most people had to deal with their own problems Thursday, one group was out helping others while their own places were flooded. WCI3's Bryce Bement caught up with first responders who were in that exact situation. She joins us live in the newsroom now. So Bryce, what did they tell you tonight? Well, I spoke with the fire and police from Gibson City. They said they wanted to help and it was all a community effort. We got over 140 calls that day into the police department and that was just during the daylight hours. A hectic morning Thursday in Gibson City as water flooded homes. The amount of water flowing through a few apartments that was, you know, several feet deep and, and needing to help people out of that. Specifically on the north side of town, water poured into some apartments, destroying them, and it was life-threatening for some. Chief Rosendahl would never tell anybody what happened on Thursday, but at one point, Chief Rosendahl and our superintendent of schools, Jeremy Darnell, were sharing a John boat, and they very well have saved a couple of disabled people's lives, which the water was coming in so fast, they were sitting in their uh, the chairs and uh, coming up to their waist. They were able to get those people to safety. Our teams performed immaculately did exactly what they should do uh, the community came together in that in that short time and and did a lot but while first responders were helping others dealing with the floods their own homes were flooding several of my team were actually there helping other people while their basements were filling up with water and that goes for everybody that helped the community members that helped their basements were filling up with water at the same time but they said they couldn't have done it without the help of other first responders in surrounding areas and the community with a small police department like we have uh, you can't measure how important that is because you know they know that someday they might need it also and we would be there for them, especially now with the way things went down on Thursday now the city is recovering and we will have more information on how you can help on our website. In the newsroom, I'm Bryce Beamant, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Some incredible stories from that day. All right, Bryce, thank you. The community of Gibson City continues to help each other out. Nicole Miller is the owner of Pialetti's Catering. She's been feeding people in front of her business since Friday. She says her home did have flood damage, but when they came to check the business, it was dry. That's when she decided to jump into action and help others. Seeing the devastation in our town, people who aren't getting help from their insurance companies um, or who were uncovered completely, we decided that we know food and we're happy to put that out there as our help for the area. Miller says they serve about 100 people a day for lunch. Meanwhile, her husband has been going around and helping people clear out their homes and clean up. There's also help available at the Gibson City Bible Church. They have cases of water, gallon buckets, shovels, and box fans, things people might need to help clean up their homes or businesses. They say they will be at the church until they run out of supplies.